Stardom has had some ups and downs on their way to the top of the Joshi world. Many enemies were made, and some friends were gained. When you get that big and going for that long, you are bound to have some secrets and mysteries. In this video, I will talk about five of their mysteries that were somewhat recent. For the topic to make it in this video, the story has to have some unanswered questions that fans are only left to speculate about. Number 5. Itsuki Hoshino's Retirement The latest in a series of retirements from wrestling, Itsuki Hoshino said her goodbyes on the day she was supposed to have had her last match. She had announced her retirement and was going to have her last match against her mentor, Tam Nakano. Unfortunately, shortly before the expected match, it was announced that due to poor condition, Itsuki was not able to wrestle in her last match, and it was cancelled. A lot of speculation on why she was retiring swept the fan base. Some believed she had some kind of injury, while others thought it might be due to her excessive nervousness. Since the beginning, Itsuki seemed to be overly anxious to what seemed like an unhealthy level. In the mini-documentary on her debut on Stardom World, it shows her protest, and while waiting for the results, they find her curled up behind the ring crying because she was so anxious. During her retirement speech, she mentioned that she had some kind of disease that only got worse and made it so that she couldn't practice, so she didn't want to do the final match. It's all very strange, but in the end, this is one thing that we don't need to pry on as she is already leaving social media because people have been harassing her. This is number 5 because while we got an explanation, it was just vague enough to leave some suspicion about what really was going on. At the end of the day though, she deserves and is entitled to be left alone, so please let's just end it with this. Number 4. Andres Miyagi Leaves Stardom Andres Miyagi used to be a wrestler for Sendai Girls, but decided to jump ship to stardom, only to then leave with zero fanfare. What makes this interesting and worthy of being on the list is because the whole series of events is just very strange. Early 2019, Kagetsu and Odotai announced that they had a new member coming, and that member turned out to be Miyagi. Miyagi had just recently left her promotion to be a freelancer, but ended up not really working any promotions and then signing to stardom. Miyagi had a good beginning run in stardom, being booked strong and she became a powerful new opponent for the rest of the promotion. That was until around the tag league when all of a sudden she started losing a lot, and it seemed like she wasn't putting in too much effort. She started to feel like she was on autopilot, and she was always getting pinned. Eventually, she just stopped showing up and disappeared, started a new Twitter account, and is now wrestling sometimes at just half out. The reason why this is on the list, though, is because from beginning to end, nothing made sense. She jumped ship from Sendai to Stardom. Not only burning the bridge there, but Stardom taking her has led many to believe that they burned their bridge with Sendai as well. Why would Stardom be willing to ruin a working relationship with Sendai for a wrestler they pretty quickly stopped backing? Why did Miyagi come over if she was only just going to peace out in less than a year? It's very strange. The biggest theory and most likely reasons for all of this is that Miyagi was asked or convinced to come to Stardom by Kagetsu, and when Kagetsu made it known that she was going to retire, Miyagi didn't feel like staying in Stardom anymore. It's the most likely reason why everyone was so gung-ho about the whole thing, and it shortly fizzled out. Number 3. Hazuki's Forced Retirement Now, this one is a strange one, folks, and I say that because there is literally no proof or hints about the reason behind any of it, and only pure speculation. And the speculation is just all over the place. Nothing else on this list has the possibility of the reason for it being things like a secret lesbian relationship or ties to the Yakuza. So basically, around the time that Kagetsu was retiring, Hazuki also announced her retirement, and the speculations ran wild. She was acting very anti-stardom in the end, and even posted a picture of herself running into Yoshiko at a salon, which is kind of taboo for stardom. Her retirement speech made things even more confusing as she said that she hated stardom, 
and that she didn't want to retire like this, and that she didn't want anyone else to have to retire like this either, which of course made people go crazy with speculation. She also made an emphasis on how she didn't think you could wrestle without trust. It's just really weird all around, from her words and actions, it seems she didn't want to retire, but she hated stardom and blamed them for it. There were many theories on what was going on, but nothing made complete sense, because none of the theories explains why she would have had to have retired and not just go somewhere else. The two main theories are tied to her getting pushed out by Bushiroad. For what reason is the difference between the theories? The first theory speculates that Bushiroad pushed her out because she was in a secret lesbian relationship with Kagetsu. The second theory says that Bushiroad pushed her out because her family has ties with the Yakuza. That one makes a lot more sense if you look at all of the pieces together. Uh, no one really knew exactly what Hazuki's home life was like. No one in... Orotai even knew where she lived. They didn't know where she got all her money. Uh, she was very secretive about her life. So that kind of fits with this theory. I personally think it's much simpler. Uh, she didn't get along with anyone at stardom except Orotai. And when Kagetsu told her she was going to retire, she felt it was because of Bushi Road and wanted to leave too. Whatever the reason, I think we can all agree that this is a very strange all-around event. Number two, the Julia incident. The Julia incident, this one caused quite the stir in the Joshi world when it happened. The problem is we have different stories coming out of different sources, making it uncertain what truly transpired. When Julia joined stardom, it was not a smooth transition. It was very messy and just all around confusing. I made a video covering what was happening when it was happening and nothing has really been cleared up since. So the facts are, Julia announces her leaving of Ice Ribbon, and then shows up at a stardom show. Ice Ribbon then responds with surprise. This is where it starts getting dicey. According to Ice Ribbon, Julia was still on contract and had not told them at all she was doing this. Their side of the story then shifted as time went on that she did mention wanting to leave about a month or so ahead of time but she had to finish out her matches and stuff before leaving. According to Julia, she asked for release, and they agreed to let her do it after her partner's retirement show. Unfortunately, a natural disaster caused the show to be postponed, so Julia felt her obligation was over and left. Of course, Ice Ribbon didn't see it that way. This whole thing then turned into a story of stardom poaching Julia from Ice Ribbon, even though she was still contracted to Ice Ribbon. Stardom, of course, denies knowing that she was under contract. They thought that she was clear as, according to Rossi and Stardom, Julia approached them, not the other way around. This is such a confusing thing to happen, and with how much each party's stories tend to either conflict or add parts that change context of the prior, it's hard to tell who exactly is lying and who is telling the truth. In the end... Bushiroad would work it out with Ice Ribbon, and Julia would join Stardom much later than she had hoped. The only thing we know for sure, though, is that this was entirely too messy. Number 1. The Incident The match that would change Stardom forever. During a singles match for a title between Act Yasukawa and Yoshiko, Act was viciously beaten to a disturbing level. She had broken bones in her face and had to go to the hospital afterwards, and this would eventually lead to her early retirement. The mystery is why it happened, as there are some things that were said about what caused it, but at the same time, no one involved has spoken about it or shared any insight on why it could have happened. According to the Vice documentary on Stardom, the incident was caused by the hierarchy system that Japan is so known for. Unfortunately, it's tough to say whether this is true or not because the documentary had a biased viewpoint and no one other than the host actually said anything substantial about it. What's widely accepted as the truth, though, is that Act Yasukawa and Yoshiko were a part of different cliques backstage, 
with Yoshiko being a part of the old school clique who clung to the old ways of the Joshi, and Act being a part of the new age Joshi. This caused conflict as Act was apparently not respecting the rules of seniority backstage, and this pissed off Yoshiko. So when Act started getting more popular and Yoshiko felt her spot being threatened, decided to take matters into her own hands. That's one theory. But there are some things that need to be pointed out. It is widely accepted that Act threw the first real punch in the match. It appears that Yoshiko was the one who did mouth the word shoot and Act was the one who nodded in agreement. So, uh, sorry for the mix-up. Please enjoy the rest of the video. And some people claim that right before it, Act mouthed the word shoot to Yoshiko, who then nodded in agreement, indicating that it was Act's idea to shoot in the first place. I'm not sure how valid that is though, since they are both Japanese and I doubt that they would have used the English word for it, but it is possible since a lot of wrestling involves English. Second is that throughout the entire fight, Yoshiko definitely gave Act ways out of the shoot fight. Most of the time Yoshiko would beat the crap out of her, and then they would get separated and then Act would charge in Gung Ho again. So the mystery is, why the hell this happened? What happened during the match doesn't completely fit the story that Yoshiko was doing this against Act in a spiteful way. But at the same time, she never stopped. But again, Act was the instigator most of the time. But again, Yoshiko purposely targeted real weak spots on Act. But Act even at the end didn't want the match to end. But Yoshiko showed zero remorse for it. The speculations just don't match and they do at the same time. I think the biggest mystery of all though is why the hell Stardom and Rossi let the match go on for as long as it did. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about these mysteries. Goodbye.